And good morning, everybody. I had to get out on the water anyway. It's Friday morning, and uh, I wouldn't take nobody with me on a day like today because you never know how bad it, you know, it might get bumpy or fishing sucks. But the wind's blowing out the east pretty strong. It was real calm, but they call until like 10 miles an hour. So no telling where I'm gonna end up at. We'll try to get a few baits, but probably won't be able to maybe, unless I buy shrimp, so we'll see. But it's blowing pretty good. I don't know if I'm gonna make it to uh, Roscoe's over there. I think he's got some big shrimp, so. We'll see what happens. I just had to get out. I couldn't watch that politics anymore. I couldn't watch that, that Kamala. She's driving me nuts, and, and then all them Democrats driving me nuts, so. Uh, I can't wait till this thing's over with and God bless we get the Trump organization in there. Come out here, Taylor's Reef, believe it or not, it's about 15 mile an hour wind. So I got my first pretty, pretty warm water. It's beautiful. First fish out in the open right here. I got a little slick back here. I've been throwing my destruction, so I'm just doing the opening. Boom. Let's see if he's a keep. Crazy day. Look at this cloud, man. Couldn't sit on that couch and watch that stuff no more. I got another one, man. Look, every cast I think is loaded with them right now, but they about it's right at 14 and a half, 15. Louisiana trout. Bro, I'm trying to get out the get out the wind. Look at this, how rough on the other side. Man, got a little protection right here on the inside of this uh, Taylor's reef. Man, that water's pretty out here. Crazy how clean it is with all this. You can see that trout way in it, right close to 15, man, right on it. It's crazy. Might be able to get a dinner out of this. Let's see. Crazy weather. Look like they're all about the same size. About 14 and a half, huh? <laughs> Look, hey, better than sitting on the couch, do right? Bring y'all a little action. By myself on some plastic. I'm trying to make my way to Roscoe's and uh, look at that white cat. Ain't no way. Let me get out the wind right here. Hey, big nasties want to eat too. Look what I got this time. I thought I had a redfish on there. Big nasties want to eat too. I know some of y'all, that's a good meat, but I would never put that in my body. It's too nasty. I know some of y'all think I'm crazy being out here in this, but uh, I made it here and I got some protection. I knew that. They got the protection here behind these uh, concrete blocks. So, uh, I'm having fun. Hey, better than sitting on the couch, right? Y'all tell me if y'all think I'm crazy being out here in these conditions. Man, it's crazy out here. But nice right here. Another small one, now this is real, the last one was 15 and a half, so I'm going to keep moving down here, I guess, see if I can get some keepers. Y'all check this hammer out, boy, I felt that thump. Oh, look at that hammer. What? 17, 18 inches. I felt the thump, I said, I got it, I kind of foul hooked him, I believe, let's see. I'm using a, a Blue Moon with a 1 8 ounce jig head, I'm letting it sink for about five seconds. Throwing it as close as I can to the to the uh, structure, and then, then the wind's kind of blowing it let, while it sinks. And I'm giving it a, a little slight jig, working it slow like winter time. I think I got another keeper. It's gonna be close. Gonna be close, y'all. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Louisiana trout. Well, we make 15. The fish are behind the boat. They're not on the reef. They're in the back. Way out there, it's crazy. I saw him throw, knocking shrimp out the water. So I threw straight back, way out there. And that's where I got that one. But they, they're smaller, they, they, you know, look at the shrimp hanging out of his mouth. Let me see if I can show y'all that. They're feeding on shrimp. <coughs> Let's see here. You see the whiskers hanging out of his mouth? Look. Is that cool? <laughs> that is cool. Right there, my 16-inch fish, way back here, way away from the reef. Crazy! I put that little tsunami on. I changed up from that uh, blue moon, 
and I'm casting as far as I can and just letting it fall and giving it one or two little jigs. And I'm having to weed through them. There's a, a lot of them around 14 inches like that right there. Maybe 14 and a half. Pretty fish, but that's not legal here. Let me show y'all what I switched to the bait. I switched to the tear and this should not be up. He got the whole thing in his mouth. Look at that. That might be a keeper. He's cool. Look at bro. He's bleeding. Uh oh, he's bleeding all over. Let me go get him. I'm going to show y'all. Crazy, man. He's got, got 20 mile power winds out here. I just wanted to show y'all. I switched to uh, this little golden muck. I used to use these in Grand Isle a lot in the wintertime. It's called uh, a tsunami paddle tail swim bait. And it's the smaller one, not the big one, the three inch. And it's got like a probably a quarter ounce lead inside built in there but that's what I'm using right now and they eat it up like candy every cast I've been getting keepers too a lot of them that size right there a whole lot that, that size right there about 14 inches a lot of them like that I'm having to turn loose getting underneath the top when I catch a fish so y'all can at least uh, hear me and uh, not hear just wind but they come back through here you start seeing some splashes out there maybe a shrimp pop and they'll, they'll they're just going around in the back of the boat back and forth and we go about 10 minutes without a bite and then i catch one every cast y'all can see behind me but uh i don't recommend coming out in this kind of conditions right here probably got about a three foot white cap three foot wave pretty bad stuff but i've only got a short run to uh washington street pier so just got a little nervous about getting in that little hole <laughs> to make sure there's enough water and it come in hot. So anyway, tell your friends about Thomas D's channel. Always bringing you fresh content, no matter what the weather is, baby. We didn't load up the boat, but I got supper.